Hey, welcome back to PET. You know, when you talk healthcare and personal health, one topic that's invariably going to come up is insurance. And insurance is a huge problem in our society today. In fact, health insurance has become unaffordable for millions and millions of Americans. And guess what? It's only going to get worse unless we take action and do something about this problem right now. So the following video clip talks about insurance in a different form of assurance. Enjoy the video and don't forget to take the validation quiz when you're done. Moving into our wellness topic for today, insurance versus assurance. Now, I particularly like this topic because I think that the majority of us have a misconception about what health insurance is. We don't really understand what it's for. We know we pay the bill every month or our employer pays the bill every month. We know it's a necessity. We, we're afraid that we're gonna get sick. Or we're afraid we're gonna have a problem that's gonna wreak financial havoc on us, so we need that insurance, right? Raise your hand if you got insurance. Pretty much the entire room. So, let me ask you a question. Who drove or rode in an automobile to work today? Raise your hand if you did. Every single person in this room. Awesome. How many of you guys own a vehicle? Raise your hand, please. Pretty much every single person in this room. When was the last time you filled up your car with gas? Last week, on your way here, Definitely within the month though, right? Car burns gas, you gotta replace it. When's the last time you changed the oil in your car? Hopefully every 3,000 miles or three months, and if you don't, you're gonna have a major problem on your hands. What about the tires, the brakes? When's the last time you had those checked or replaced? Let me ask you a question. When you filled up with gas, or when you changed your tires, did you file an insurance claim with your auto uh, insurance policy? And before you pulled in the gas station, did you call your mechanic and your insurance company and say, hey, I'm thinking about going to Chevron. I wanted to make sure they were covered under the insurance policy. No, we don't file insurance claims for those things with our car. Likewise, at home, if we're going to cut our grass or paint a wall or vacuum the carpet or clean the countertop, we're not going to file a homeowner's insurance claim, right? Of course not. Because what is homeowner's insurance and auto insurance for? Mick? Rich? Unexpected events. Like disasters, accidents. You get a fender bender, or a storm comes and hurts the roof off your house, a fire. These unexpected accidents, not the routine, everyday maintenance type of things, not the wear and tear items. So, what do you expect from your insurance policy? Do you even know what your insurance policy covers? Have you read all the documents? Do you have a good insurance agent that you have a relationship that you can pick up the phone and call and say, you know, I'm experiencing these problems. I want to know what my options are. Do you guys have those relationships? I think it's important with your doctor and with your insurance company to have that kind of interaction and relationship. So as we just said, you know, the, the insurance is for accidents, catastrophes, unexpected disasters. So health insurance should not be used for every little cough, sniffle, cold, you know, scratch that we get. You know, a reference back to last week on our Medicaid and Hesitate series. Did you guys enjoy that, by yep. the way? Yep. Yes. You know, all the, well, we explain what those different functions of the body are. When you get a runny nose, that's your sinuses detoxifying. When you get diarrhea, that's your you know, digestive tract, you know, eliminating and detoxifying. So if we're constantly running to the doctor for a little $20 copay and we're getting a, a medicine, it's jacking up our insurance for things that it should not be used for. And then we all complain. You know, employers bear the burden. We, you know, get hit with increases each year. And uh, that's not what insurance is all about. It's not what it was designed for. So there's a lot of uh, policies out there, different kinds of policies. You've got your HMOs, your PPOs, but there are also, also policies called HSAs, HRAs, catastrophic high deductible policies that are more like true insurance, more like your car insurance and your home insurance. Very affordable. In fact, uh, Leah just got a policy recently. Here's what, $71 a month, I think, was your coverage. So there are some very affordable insurances out there that do exactly what they were designed to do. And they give you the ability to put some uh, tax-free money aside to use for uh, health care as you deem necessary, alternative cares. Who in here is a gambler? Anybody like to gamble, play cards, go to Vegas? 
Anybody? Okay, a couple people. We're all conservative. Who, who, who in here has a health insurance policy? Auto insurance, keep your hands up. Homeowner's insurance, okay, you're all gamblers. Because we're gambling, right? I mean, that's what insurance is. We're paying for a product and service that we hope we never need, right? I mean, nobody wants to have an accident. Nobody wants their house to burn down. Well, in this real estate market, I don't know, but maybe <laughs> for the most part. So, you know, insurance is typically gambling, but it's, it's necessary. We want that protection in case we have a major problem. But lots of times we're spending thousands of dollars for policies that we really don't need. So what we're going to talk about today is the best form of insurance is actually self-assurance. Doing things on a daily basis that will help protect you and ensure that you never need insurance and its, you know, health insurance and its uh, common sense as, as people often think of it. So I want to uh, pose this question to you guys. Are you doing more to maintain your health and home than you are your body? Because that car, that, yeah, that car, your home, those things are indispensable. If you're waxing that car, cleaning it, filling up with gas, changing the oil, you're cutting your grass, you got your house well maintained, what are you doing for your body? You, know, you only get one of these. You can't replace this. House burns down, Rich's company, Mitchell Knoll, comes in, writes you a check, you got a new house. Same thing with your car. But your body, I mean, you want to make sure you're practicing every bit of assurance that you can to stay healthy. So we're going to uh, talk about five quick tips for health assurance. We've covered these before. I'm repetitive with some things in this program because it's very, very important. Anybody want to take a stab at one of these five components for health assurance? I'll give you a hint. Yes, Josh. Eat healthy. Healthy. Nutrition. Definitely. Anybody else? Exercise. Exercise. That's on the list. That's two. Anybody else? Sleep. Sleep? Rest. We'll make that number six. It wasn't on the list. <laughs> a a anybody else? Um, like emotional health, like less stress. Yes, that goes with thinking positive thoughts and de-stressing. And hydration and water. And uh, eliminating toxicity from the body. Not eating toxic that are going to add to the stress and to the uh, <clears throat> chemical and physical stress that our bodies are already experiencing. 